All right, so these are the uh, derivatives that you're going to need to add to your trig card for section 9. It's the last section for derivatives for us. After we get through this section, you will be able to take the derivative of just about anything that your little heart desires. Uh, but you still need to pay attention to all your other rules. So this is just kind of the end of the beginning. Okay? And so put these on your trig card. We're going to reference them back. I'll have them up on the slides as we go. But these are our final few derivatives. Um, and the exponential one is the best one. He's he's easiest to use and he's most user friendly and, and really there isn't much to it. So with that said, uh, let's look at the derivative of the exponential function. So here it is right here. The derivative of e to the u is e to the u du dx. In other words, if I look at y prime, y prime or dy dx, it's the derivative, it's e to the u, well in this case our u is going to be x plus x squared and du dx is going to be 1 plus 2x. So there's that guy. So what's our derivative look like? It's really simple. The derivative is e to the x plus x squared just like you have, times 1 plus 2x, the derivative of the top. And that's all there is to it. This is a good final answer. I don't have a problem with a final answer that looks like this. If you want to reduce it all the way down and combine like terms, you can do that, but, but there really is not a need. So at this point, uh, you're done with your deriving, and that's, that's why we like uh, to take the derivative of e to the x. It really is a, a nice, easy one to do. Okay, so another guy that we uh, can work with is when the variable gets up into the exponent. This is a little bit tricky. Uh, you just need to pay attention, though. It's not Again, it's not horrible. So we've got this uh, a to the u, which is where the variable is, and it's just going to be the natural log of that base. And, and the base is, is just whatever this number right here is. This is going to be your base, okay? So the natural log of the base times the derivative of the base. It's, it's not going to be hard. Well, at what point does the graph of the equation have a tangent line with a slope of 21? So what we want to do is we want to find y prime. Okay, And to do that, notice it's, it's uh, 2 to a power of t. So 2 to a power of t. Uh, what does that look like? Well, it looks like 2 to the t times the natural log of a, which is 2, and times the derivative of the t, so which is 1. And then plus the derivative of 3, which is 0. Okay. So what is our, what is our derivative really? It really is two t natural log of 2. Well, we want to find where the tangent line has a slope of 21. You know, so we're looking at this guy right here. So guess what? Remember, derivative is our equation for slope. We want that equation to equal 21. So dive back into the depths. And how do we solve this guy out? Well, let's divide everything by the natural log of 2. That is a constant. And we have 2t equals 21 over the natural log of 2. And then how do we get it out of this? Uh, take the natural log of both sides. And, and so... Uh, this is a trick, and it's a little bit of an interesting trick, but we're going to take the natural log of this side, and we're going to take the natural log of this side. What that does is allows us to manipulate the t in the exponent. So I've got the natural log of 2t equals the natural log of 21 over the natural log of 2. Don't panic. It's all okay. Well, inside a natural log, you may or may not remember, but that t can come out front. And so when he does, what we end up with is t times the natural log of 2 
is equal to and remember if you've got numbers inside they can subtract so this would be natural log of 21 minus the natural log of the natural log of 2 and the, the last step then is to get that t all by itself so how would you do that divide everything by the natural log of 2 so it looks really weird but don't panic because then what we're going to do is we're just going to punch that right hand side into our calculators so t equals the natural log of 21 minus the natural log of the natural log of 2 all over natural log of 2 there should be a 2 right here okay and when you punch that into your calculator you'll get uh, that t is equal to 4.921 okay so if I know that t is equal to 4.921 how do I find y I just plug 4.921 in right here and when you get done punching this guy into your calculator you get y equals 27.297 And so at what point does, does this occur where you have a slope of 21? It occurs at the point, and then look back down here, 4.921 and 27.297. Okay, so what we want to do is find this uh, derivative of the natural log of x cubed plus 2x. We've got our natural log rule over here. The natural log rule is, is not bad either. Uh, it's just 1 over whatever's inside the natural log times the derivative of that thing. So if I'm looking for dy dx on this guy, then I, I let my u equal, let u equal x cubed plus 2x. And so du would equal, let me clean this up a little bit here. U would equal x cubed plus 2x. So du dx would equal 3x squared plus 2. So for dy dx, that's just going to be 1 over u times du dx. Which would be? 1 over x cubed plus 2x times 3x squared plus 2. And remember, when you multiply, it's, everything's over 1. So my end result of this guy then is going to end up being 3x squared plus 2 divided by x cubed plus 2x. And if you see something in there you can factor out, do it. And if you see something uh, that you can reduce, do it. But otherwise, this answer, this is a good answer. Okay? So don't let this guy be too hard. Uh, just do it one little piece at a time. And always put your fraction over 1. So when, and remember, when you multiply fractions, don't forget this. You just multiply straight across when you multiply. Okay? Find the derivative of y equals log base a of a sine x. Okay, there's a lot going on in this problem. Uh, a lot. So let's just start with uh, what we would need to be our u in this case. And in this case our u is equal to a sine x. So du dx 
is going to use one of the one of the rules that uh, we developed a few minutes ago one of our earlier examples and you've got your variable in the exponent so what we're going to do is we're going to follow that rule uh, which is the other rule is a to the u if we're going to do this we're going to look at a to the u equals ddx a to the u is a to the u times the natural log of a times du dx so again we're gonna have like another little su substitution uh, guy come along uh, with this well follow the pattern follow the pattern what is a okay what's in the a spot a what's in the u spot sine x so a natural log a and the derivative of the sine is is cosine so here's our derivative and it matches our rule and that's our u part so now we want to do you know we've got y prime we got y equals y equals log base a of u so what's the derivative of this going to be 1 over u which is going to be a sine x times the natural log of a times the derivative which is really a long deal so what have we got remember when you multiply fractions you multiply across the top and you multiply across the bottom so I have a natural log of a cosine x over a sine x natural log of a and this guy let's see a u I forgot right here my u part sine x so this should be a sine x all right here easy to forget the u part and when you do that what happens is your a sine x's cancel out your log a's cancel out and this guy actually ends up not too bad you end up with cosine of x so these are a little more tricky uh, pay attention to them again go one step at a time uh, smooth things out as you go along try to keep up with all your u's which we missed on here but there's a u there so he needs to also be here and here and here okay and uh, and just practice these and eventually uh, you'll start catching all these kind of smaller details